Harry soon found himself approaching the Furnace Kingdom. There was a crane by the line that could unload him onto the shore. Well, here I am. Now, time to find Scaredy. But as soon as Harry ran at the bend, Dread came onto the shore. Well, here I am. Now, time to destroy Harry. Meanwhile, Scaredy was trying to find help. He soon came across Slimy and the other trucks. Oh, hey Scaredy, where have you been? asked Rotten. Do any of you know that Freedom is planning to kill all truck leaders and get every single truck to do her evil bidding? The trucks burst out laughing. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Guys, stop laughing, said Slimy. He's serious. He is? asked Andrew. I always thought there was something going on with Freedom ever since Scaredy arrived. You say she's wanting to kill all truck leaders? Yes. That means you, Scaredy, said Todd. It also means my leader, Harry, said Scaredy. Wait, your leader, Harry? Yes. I never told you this, but I'm the right-hand truck of Harry back in the mainland kingdom. I was planning to return there once I had some experience at being leader. You were gonna leave? And leave us without a leader? Well, I... Well, if that's how it's gonna be, then you're on your own to defend yourself from freedom. Good day. No, no guys, don't go. I need your help. Please, don't... Go. I'll help you, Scaredy. You will? Really? You mean it? Yes, I will. Well, if Slimy's gonna help Scaredy, then so am I, said Rotten. That's the spirit, Rotten, said Slimy. Anyone who refuses to help a fellow truck is well, not a good truck. Yeah, said Rotten. That makes them just as bad as Freedom. Well, I don't want to be bad like Freedom. Me neither, said Todd. I'll help you guys. Count us in two, said Andrew and Ethan. Oh, thank you so much, guys said Scaredy. If we can save Harry and defeat Freedom, I'll try to find a way to lead you guys while still being Harry's right hand truck. Right, let's find Freedom and take her down. Yes, let's. Oh, she's also got the help of the other trucks. So that's 10 against 8. Challenge accepted, said Tina. Lead the way, Scaredy, said Slimy. Let's go, said Scaredy. Meanwhile, Harry was looking for Scaredy. When he bumped into Topple, Oh, hello, um, have you seen a black oil tanker? He has a big tooth and a, what is it called, a talisman. Oh, I saw that oil tanker. 
but he's gone. Where did he go? No, no. Gone, as in... What? Don't worry, you'll be joining him very shortly. Excuse me? Suddenly, Gideon bumped into Harry and sent him flying off the track, and he landed in topple. Ow, what is the meaning of this? Hey Freedom, Taylor and I got the other one, cried Tumble. Put me back on the rails this instant. Dread? What is going on here? You'll find out in just a moment. And Freedom and her henchmen took Harry and Dread to a yard near the edge of a cliff. At the bottom of the cliff was a big pot of molten slack. Time for you two to die, said Freedom. What are you doing? Why are you doing this, asked Harry. You're not gonna kill me, are you? I came here to kill Harry. You better not do it, said Dread. I have a dream to be leader of every single truck. And I want every truck to be troublesome. And in order to lead every single truck, I need to destroy all the other truck leaders. And you two shall be the first ones to go. Then Scaredy... Wait, I thought you said Scaredy was dead, said Harry. Ah, uh, yes, that was a lie. Anyways, you two will be first, then Scaredy and then we'll find Scruffy and destroy him last. You can't destroy Harry, that's my goal, shouted Dredd. I gave you more than enough chances to get rid of Harry, but you failed at all of them, said Freedom. Wait, what? asked Harry. Using the portal that Todd put in the side of Boxster over there, I sent anonymous notes to Dredd with plans on how to destroy you, Harry. That's also how your friend Wally got the anonymous note on Scaredy's whereabouts. So yeah, I sent plans to Dredd on how to destroy you, but he failed at all of them. I was possibly going to let him live and work as one of my henchmen, if he could get rid of you, Harry. But since he could not, He'll die first. What? Are you going to throw me into that slack? Axe Dread. Yes, said Freedom. If I get killed by that slack, my friends will have a chance to resurrect me, said Dread. Well, I'll have you know that I know and have used a spell that will make this slack kill you permanently. Once this slack kills you, you won't have a chance to come back to life. Wait, what? cried Dread. Tumble, dispose of him. No, wait, can't we talk this out? Ah! And Dread splashed into the molten slag below. <laughs> Scaredy realized they needed to come up with a plan, and fast. Does anyone have any fighting skills? Or any skills at all? I was built to fight, said Tina. I mean, I carry swords and shields, after all. I can throw my rocks, said Andrew. I can use my stinky garbage as a way to send enemies running, said Rotten. I can do something when I concentrate on it, said Slimy. What's that? asked Scaredy. Whoa! 
That's bright. That might come in handy. All right, said Freedom. That's one down, one to go. Or should that be one down, three to go, counting Scaredy and Scruffy? Let's just get this over with. Oh, and I just want to say, said Freedom, that the spell I used on the slag will only work for two victims. Once two victims are killed, the spell will wear off and anyone who falls into that slag will have a chance to be resurrected. Unless they've died once already, like you, Harry. <laughs> Topple began to move into position when... Ow, that's bright, too bright, I can't see, cried Topple. Biff, bash, bosh! Ow! Topple was knocked off the track and Harry was thrown into a field. What? cried Freedom. Playtime's over, Freedom, said Scaredy. Well, look who decided to come save the day. Oh, I'm not the only one who's come to save the day. Scaredy, attack! You heard him, I'm gonna get you, attack, get them, oh, yeah, yeah, destroy them. Have mercy, ah, don't hurt me, ow, oh, my headphones. Now, now, we're all buddies here, right? No. Ouchie! Don't hit me, I'm fragile, cried Gideon. I'll believe it when I see it. No! Ouch! Prepare to be attacked by... Pee! You, that stinks! The stench is practically burning my nose! There. Well, watch out. Ow! Oh, come on. I'm gonna tear you to pieces and then shove those pieces up your nose. Hey, it's my turn to tear Gideon to pieces and shove the pieces up his nose. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Well, I'm in front, so I might as well do it. I'm here to help you, Gideon, cried Tumble. Let's work together, said Andrew. Yes, charge! Whoa, look out! Oh, oh! I'm down! Ow! Ah! Take that, Tipper. Who's next? You are. And Wildfire threw some flour at Todd and created a huge white cloud. Ugh, I can't see, said Todd. Don't worry, I'm here, said Slimy. Slimy rushed into the flower cloud and used her glowing paint. She could see Wildfire sneaking up on Todd, so she quickly rammed into him and knocked him off the track. That hurt, he cried. Out of my way, boy truck with a girl named Ow! Uh, I'm not done yet. I won't be defeated without attacking someone. Biff Bash Bosh. Ow! Two can play at that game. Biff Bash Bosh. Ow, ow, ow. 
Whoa, thanks, slimy to scaredy. You're welcome, scaredy. You're gone. Later, buckaroo. That hurt. Good job, guys. I think victory. Wait, where's freedom? Almost got it. There we go. Die, Harry. <gasps> no. Freedom splash into the slack. Harry, are you alright? I am now, thanks to you. Scaredy rolled up to the edge of the cliff and looked down towards the slack. From what I heard, that spell Freedom used on the slack will permanently kill two victims. And then after that, anyone who gets killed by it will have another chance to be brought back to life. But that won't be happening to Dread and Freedom anytime soon. Then there was trouble. There came a rumbling from underneath Scaredy's wheels. And suddenly the ground beneath him gave way. Ah! Scaredy! Oh no! Somebody do something! Cried Andrew. Gang away, cried Lena. This I gotta see, said Taylor. 99 of red balloons. You do oh, ah! Boxer, you idiot! Oh no! No, no, no. Stop, wheels, please. <sighs> oh, whoa! No! Scaredy! Well, he's gone. Thank goodness. Look out! Uh oh. Oh no! Ah! And Boxer, Taylor, and Lena fell into the slag as well. The trucks stared in horror. Hey Mighty, you know what I'm thinking? I know what I'm thinking. Well, I don't care if you're thinking about something. I'm thinking that... Hey everyone, quiet down, there's a bulletin on TV. And now for this news flash, a terrible tragedy has happened here at the Furnace Kingdom. It started off with Freedom, the Purple Brake Man, revealing her plan to kill all truck leaders, good and bad. She and her henchmen killed legendary troublesome truck leader, Dread, but they were soon defeated by oil tanker Scaredy and the Good Runners trucks. But shortly after Freedom was killed, Scaredy, along with Taylor, Boxer and Lena of Freedom's gang joined her in the slack. Harry, what do you have to say about this? Well, Albert, I must say that... <sighs> Harry? Thank <laughs> you.